welcome back friends welcome to another video from shomu's biology about ecology now in this video we'll be talking about uh, another concept and this is called the resource partitioning resource partitioning so what is resource partitioning and to understand resource partitioning you should know about a niche the concept of niche ecological niche and uh, i hope you know about ecological niche if you don't know you can check my video completely on ecological niche uh, in my channel i probably put a link in the description you can click on that link and you can watch that video and watching that video will help you to understand this one so it's recommended otherwise i am going to talk a little uh, briefly about uh, the niche here also so uh, we're talking about the resource partitioning <clears throat> resource partitioning means here it relies on a simple idea that you know a niche of an organism means it's a functional area of an organism in the ecosystem which includes the abiotic factors of the environment behavior of that organism and the food source of that organism so this thing three things together for an organism known as a niche or ecological niche of that organism now if you see if uh, two organisms live in a different, I mean, in same habitat, two different organisms live in same habitat, they don't have any issues all the time. But if their food source are the same, if their behavior is the same, if their all the abiotic factors they need to survive is also the same, then they might end up in competition, right? So that is the idea of niche. That means two organisms with same niche cannot coexist together without competition. So they end up with a competition. So if they have any kind of competition, that competition have two different outcomes. One is that they will compete and they will fight for all those resources together against each other, not together, against each other. And ultimately one will win that fight and it will survive. And one will lose that fight, fight and that will be uh, taken away from the environment uh, that uh, due to extinction. So this is the idea about... Uh, the fighting this is first thing second thing second result that may uh, possible is that they will try to minimize the competition by compromising some part of it right what kind of compromisation here they can uh, they can compromise some some part of their uh, habitat uh, they can compromise some abiotic factors that some food habits and something they can modify some part of it so that uh, they can minimize the competition so these are the two things that are possible uh, for for uh, due to this competitive uh, nest generation so for this reason what we know is that uh, in this way uh, so in resource partitioning is a process of the second outcome second outcome means they try to minimize the competition so if they try to minimize the competition they have the process called resource partitioning with which they can limit uh, usage of the resource in the environment so that two or three different organisms belonging to the same niche can stay together how uh, it may happen let's say it's it's a experiment conducted uh, in a uh, by macarthur dr macarthur of princeton university is for a long time and it's uh, to the warbler warblers are the singing birds that are available okay songbirds so in warblers, uh, he conducted the experiment. He took all this, the, all these trees, and warblers uh, tend to live in these trees. And what he found out is very exciting and interesting, is that uh, there are six, five or six different species of warblers living in the same. Uh, uh, they have the same type of niche earlier, right? They belong to the same niche. They eat insects, and uh, so so they can stay together. They have the same niche. This is the idea. And if they have same niche and uh, all of them tends to stay in this uh, in this in these trees so what would be result here the thing is warblers are staying in the different regions of the tree so he thought that if they have same niche how come they stay together without any competition how this they are staying together so much variety for so many years uh, and the answers is very similar uh, very 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 easy that he found out there are several different partitioning of resource that they are living in. If they are belonging to and they are eating any plant uh, things, plant nectar, flower nectar or insects that are present in different areas of the tree, they actually divide the tree in a such a way 
that they tends to stay in those areas only right so there are there are certain things as you, as as he saw see so let's say in this case we are talking about four different species and you find species one lives only up to this area species two lives here species three lives here and species four lives here so they actually try to partition their resource their habitat to minimize the competition this is one example of the resource partitioning where if the organism have same niche but they still want to stay together without getting into any kind of competition any fighting they will try to partition their habitat or partition their resource that resource could be habitat resource food source in this case it's a food source also and also abiotic factors will also change because this tree will have different i mean the tree will receive different kind of situations like temperature moisture content light uh, differently in the, these different areas so they change not only they change the abiotic factors as well as their food as well as their habitat here and due to all these changes they can live together without any kind of competition and that's a very good thing and that is the example of resource partitioning so if you understand resource partitioning well please hit the like button share this video with your friends and definitely subscribe to my channel to get more and more videos like that thank you